evening everyone. So I've basically made it to this tattoo parlor called Vagabond, if you can see it there. Um, it's my first tattoo and I'm going to be tattooed on my neck. I'm really excited but also nervous at the same time. Basically, I was shitting it. Um, I am getting a spiritual symbol of peace, uh, which is known as the symbol of, well, it's called Om, so you'll see it and it's really good. Um, yeah, I'm quite nervous, I'm speechless as well, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So, I'm with Rose in the background there. Uh, she's about to tattoo me in the back there, and I'm gonna give this over to my dad. You know what I thought? I thought it was gonna hurt more than that, but it's like a bee sting. Yeah. Oh, not even that really, is it? Not really. It doesn't really hurt. I can get used to this, Rose. see a lot of stuff online yeah. and I think once you experience it for yourself 
I think, I think you have to experience it yourself, really. Don't I think, you? yeah, it's you've got to, you've got to, you've got to experience it for yourself to know what your pain threshold is as well. Um, but it's not actually that bad, and and it actually also depends on who's tattooing you as well. So yeah. I mean, I, I reckon I'm in tattoo royalty right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. having a beehive. Yeah. Be a beehive keeper. Or well, just buying the honey in the shop. That's it. designs um, in regards to um, what I've seen and, but you know how they do henna? Yeah, I think there's some kind of mendy looking things, yeah, yeah sometimes. But you know, like with my own skin on it. Yeah. That did actually hurt. Um, there's glow and dark um, tattoos. Oh, yeah. And then I was, um, once you start reading about them, yeah. you say to yourself, uh, no, I don't think I want that kind of chemical in my body. Yes, it's a weird one. I don't really know why you would want that. Um, well, to glow in the dark, yeah, I suppose. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think it kind of just like fades over time, so it just like you can't, it just stops kind of working. You know, you know, like as anything does, like yeah, if yeah. you get those like glow in the dark stickers, yeah. like over time, 
They stop being so glow in the dark. Yeah. And then you've got kind of something that looks a little bit kind of creamy under your skin. Yeah, feet. exactly. Uh, cool. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Cool. I will. I'll be heading back in my turn. Okay. Yeah. I just want to stretch. Yeah, yeah, just want to stretch. I do like Tom Hardy's tattoos though. What's he got? He's got, oh, he's got all sorts. He's got like a, it, it's like a, he's got um, theatre masks. Oh yeah? He's got a British flag. He's got all sorts. Oh my god. I didn't know that. And, um, you know, we were coming to the very end of the session. Um, and as you can see, um, most of the tattoo has been done. And um, she, she was just like cleaning bits up in regards to uh, where ink was being missed. Um, in general, my experience was really good. Um, for my first tattoo and um, yeah Rose really put me at ease and I think by reading a lot of the blogs um, online um, you know obviously you have to experience getting a tattoo uh, for yourself and this was a very positive experience because I had done a lot of research in regards to who was tattooing me uh, where I was being tattooed and also um, the parlour itself, uh, the tattoo parlour itself having really positive feedback um, so you know if you do the groundwork with, with all things in life um, you know if you suddenly get a tattoo and it's very unplanned it might not go um, so well and so yeah I just thought planning everything and working out what I wanted and you know this is going to be on my body for forever ever so um, yeah basically it was just as I wanted it to turn out
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? Thank you so much, girls. Oh, you can take a picture of it. Something like Savlon cream. Savlon isn't as no. good. No, it's just it's just different. Um, yeah. you, you can buy it for like three pounds in Tesco. It's really like easy, easy to find. Okay, buy. cool. I mean, and you've got it there for for like any other type that you ever have. Right. You know, the whole a tube would do a, a back piece. Okay. Um, so there's things that you need to avoid for two weeks. Yep. No swimming pools. Yep. Jacuzzi, sauna, steam rooms. Yep. No long soak in the bath, just a quick shower. All right, fine. So you know when your fingers go like wrinkly in the bath? Yeah. That's too long. Okay, fine. So you don't want it soaking out, but you need to still keep it clean. So quick shower is fine, but not like soaking, soaking for ages. Okay. Don't scratch it or pick it. Don't let people touch it for two weeks. Yeah. Keep it out of the sunshine for a month. Wow, okay. Which is tricky, but I mean more like sunbathing on it. You don't want to be like literally sunbathing it. You know, you yeah. walking around here and there is fine. Yeah. You know, just be careful with it. It's like a foot, so you just want to be careful with it. And yeah. And what if this comes off? Then what this do I do? comes off just for a bit more cling film on. Okay, it's fine. just a bit of cling film with a bit of tear. Right. I mean, it might come off, but it looks like it should be alright actually. I don't mind you putting in some cloud, like my Yeah, no, it, it, it looks like it's sometimes it yeah. doesn't stick very well to the hair, but it looks good. Okay, cool. I feel like it's going to stick there, but yeah, if, if it doesn't, if it comes off, that's fine. Yeah. Just um, just put a little bit more on um, with a bit of tape, like a dish tape or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm all good to go. You're all good to go. Thank you so much for no tattooing me. Oh, my pleasure. It's been amazing. Thank you. 